Hello and welcome. Today, we'll take a look at the initial configuration window for General Ledger. After you install the software and log in for the first time, you'll need to specify and save a GLS client before you can use the software. The first GLS client in the system must be Client 1. This dataset is the only dataset that will integrate with Tabs 3 Billing, Trust Accounting, and Accounts Payable. In the Client Name field, add your firm's name. This field prints as the heading on all reports. In the Configuration section, the data location for this client is set to the current working directory, which is the same location that all of your Tabs 3 programs and data are stored in. If you need to add another GLS client for another set of books, the data location field would be available, allowing you to specify a separate data location. The account number decimal places field will be available if you opted to not include starter data when you install the software. This value determines how many digits will be to the right of the decimal point in the account number. If this value needs to be changed after it's been set, you can use the change account number format program. The beginning fiscal month determines the order in which months will print on financial reports. In the Journal Entry Date Restrictions section, you can set up future and past date restrictions to prevent users from entering data. You can also define a close date to ensure that journal entries from prior periods are not altered. The Options section controls journal entry verification list behavior and the option to include an alternate account order for the chart of accounts. When finished, click Save on the toolbar or press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now you're able to set up your chart of accounts and add journal entries. It's that simple. For more information, you can access our Help Center by clicking the question mark icon or pressing F1 on your keyboard. Thanks for watching. See you next time.